Kamikaze seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to their core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. War dropped too, though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Gist, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shane, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. But the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale? Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Close down! Catch some wind! Top Scarlet's Royal Studs! What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. It should be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship in with? It's an the war is drawing to its close. They're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. But did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... but well, the point is, I think I know a safe place where we can depart. Sail on! So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? It would be foolhardy to simply storm that fort. Aye, we need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. Let's find a safe place to dock. Flotsam, sir. Could be valuable. Short and sail! Get off the squall! Muscle your tops! Like an officer! Clue up! Clue up! I'll go to the fort. Find out what Adewale is doing there. Keep the Morgan close, Gist. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close. And I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck. Master Kenway.
So, the Templars sent their dog up. Time to test your metal chip. He's beached his ship! A novel tactic. He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him. Can we? Yeah. Where's your hunting dog, Grandmaster Templar? 
I must have caused quite a ruckus for both of you to be chasing me. Indeed. Forgive me, Adewale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the wars aren't really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shea plays. <laughs> 